This is how Palestinians in Gaza have had to greet the month of Ramadan this year. On the first morning of Ramadan, Israel bombed this man's home, and several people reported they began their fasting without the pre-dawn meal of suhoor. 1.5 million people are crammed into the city of Rafah in the south, and hundreds of thousands are being starved in the north of Gaza. Since the start of the war, the scarcity of food has forced the prices of basic goods to soar. According to a resident, a bag of flour before the war was $8, while now it costs more than $240. The UN and many aid agencies have repeatedly warned against Israel's starvation of Gaza. At least 25 people have died from malnutrition and dehydration since the start of the war, at least 18 of which were children. Along with the restricted food aid, Israel has already leveled and bombed the homes and mosques where Muslims in Gaza would have spent their nights praying during the holy month of Ramadan. Where the streets of Gaza were filled with life and decorations last year, this year some of Gaza's residents attempted to celebrate the spirit of the month by decorating their tents and performed their evening prayers alongside the rubble of their mosques. One Gaza resident who spoke to us said they put up these decorations to prove to the people that we love life and we have an unbreakable will and that we deserve to live. There were hopes that a ceasefire agreement would be negotiated before the start of Ramadan, but those hopes have not been realized yet. This is Ramadan in Gaza under Israel's war, starvation and displacement.